Now to a CBS 4 News health alert, and it's that time of the year when people start sniffling and coughing, and some search for a natural cold remedy like echinacea to help. But a study from Consumer Reports warns you might not always get what you expect. 21-year-old Danny Daniels says during cold and flu season, he swears by echinacea. It helps you with your immunity, so it's really, it's really powerful. People take it to ease the symptoms and length of a cold, but a new study from Consumer Reports finds not all echinacea supplements are equal. We did find that certain products were much more consistent than others, that they had what was listed on the label. Researchers tested 16 echinacea products and found three had low levels of key ingredients, and several contained levels of lead or bacteria that exceeded Consumer Reports standards. Only six of 16 met the group's criteria for purity and potency. I think it's also important to talk to your healthcare provider to see if there's a reason for you to take the supplement, to see if it might interact with something else that you're taking. It's not only a problem with echinacea. Supplements in general are not approved by the FDA and do not follow the same guidelines prescription drug makers do. If you're going to try to find products that at least contain what they say, what's listed on the label, you can look to see if they've been certified. There are organizations like USP and NSF and UL that will kind of verify that supplements contain what's listed on the label. Research on the effectiveness of echinacea has been mixed. Some studies find it can shorten a cold, while others saw no benefit at all. But many people, including Daniels, swear by it and will continue to buy the supplement. Consumer Reports says supplement sales are expected to hit $52 billion this year.